Hey, Darnell, do you hear me okay? Yeah, I do. Every all eyes are obviously on on Jordan Love and how he's doing on the field this this off season. I, I, I'm curious the the deep ball uh, that you had to 13 today. It looked like you had you and Adrian both had some really good coverage on that play. What did you see on that play, and, and what, did you walk away from that uh, more upset with yourself, or more impressed with the pass that he threw? No, nah, it was uh, it was like so, um, so. Somebody jumped off sides, so we, you know, at practice, we never really know if we're going to, you know, keep going or kind of relax. So uh, somebody jumped off sides, and we kind of hesitated for a minute. Then we realized the play was still going, so we just turned and ran. But uh, it was a good throw, good catch. Mike Spofford. Hey, Darnell, just wondering uh, your impressions of Joe Barry's scheme and just how, how how different is it from what you guys have done do you think it'll be a, a fairly easy transition in the long run or, or what's different about it um I think it'll be fairly easy just for the simple fact of uh we got a lot of guys in our room that are um committed and smart and uh we you know we we work well together so we all know how to kind of communicate to each other and stuff like that um you know obviously every every defense or offense uh that's a new coach or whatever, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be different, but, um, really at the end of the day, it's all just football. So it's just really just terminology and, uh, being on the same page with like communication and stuff like that. But, um, I feel like we'll, we'll have a pretty good grip on that. Aaron Nagler. You just mentioned the, you know, the obviously implementing a new scheme coming off of that idea last year, especially kind of towards the end of the season, it seemed like you were really in a good groove as you were closer to the line of scrimmage. A lot of the stuff in the slot, uh, whether it was, you know, tracking stuff in the passing game or helping in the run game, this defense seems to have you or would traditionally have both safeties up high, that too high look. Is that something you would prefer? Do you like it down in the box? It, it, are you going to be able to be as versatile in this scheme as you were under Pettin? Uh Right now, we're all just we're all just just trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? We're all just we're going out there. We're trying to get our communication right. Uh, Cause that's that's one thing, you know. Throughout the year, you're gonna deal with stuff. You're gonna deal with injuries, and and people are gonna have to step in and play different positions and all that kind of stuff. So uh, right now, we're just kind of trying to get the basis of all the the communication and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I feel like we got a lot of guys that are that are interchangeable and can do a whole bunch of different stuff. So as long as we all know what we're doing, then uh, I don't think it really matters where we are. Wes Hodquitz. Darnell, hope you're doing well. Um, to kind of follow up on that, you know, obviously it is a new defense, a new coordinator, but having Jerry still with you, how beneficial do you think that's been this off season to, to being able to still stick with him in the back end? Uh, really good. Um, I mean, I've, you, everybody knows Coach Gray's resume, uh, and he's 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 he works really well with us. You know what I'm saying? I think he's he's been around so many people and so many different players. He knows how to reach everybody in their own individual way. So it's like. It's, it's special to have, you know what I'm saying, a guy that's been around that long around still because, uh, you know, he's seen, like I said, he's like I said before, he's seen it all, literally. So um, there's there's nothing that um, we can ask him where he won't, you know, have an answer for us. So that's, that's uh, it's always a plus. Bill Huber. Hey, Darnell, you had a really, really strong second half of last season. Um, what'd you see there? Uh, just as far as... You got, I guess just what was the key to that? Now you you made a lot of plays in the ball, at least compared to the first half of the year. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a long season, you know. That's this and playing DB is is, is a tough position. You know, you can you can uh, you can really you got to do your job at the end of the day, and you can really only make the plays that come to you. So, uh, I really, I mean, I don't think I I really changed anything or did anything different. You know, I just just more opportunity and more uh, plays that came my way, and um, I happened to you know make most of them. So. Wes Hodquitz. Darnell, how, how did you handle this offseason? What was sort of the plan for you? And was there anything that you and, you know, Jerry talked about as far as, you know, trying to make that, that next step in year three? Um, I mean, I, me personally uh, and Coach Gray and, and all the rest of the coaches know this as well. I'm always, you know what I'm saying, looking for, for something extra. So uh, I, they, they – and we're to a point now where they have, you know what I'm saying, they have that trust in me. And uh, they know that, that I'm already, you know, hard, hard enough on myself. So – uh, really, it was just just continue to grow. I, I haven't had a a year ever where I've stayed the same like the the next year. So, um, uh, growth is that's that's always a it's always a revolving door. So, I just want to keep growing. I'm sure uh, all the other guys do too. You guys have any other questions? Go ahead, Wes. 
Yeah, Darnell, one thing, too. I mean, other than Raven, I think you have everyone back, uh, cornerback-wise, safeties-wise. What, what do you like about that group, and, and what do you think as far as, you know, where you can take things now with another year under your belt together? Uh, I would just say just the, the camaraderie we have. Uh, we're really close, you know. It's, it's Most of the time when you hear about um, NFL position rooms, NFL locker rooms, you hear how they're kind of split or, or you know, all different s- sort of stories. And um, I haven't, you know, since I've been here, I haven't, experienced any of that you know we're really close we go out to eat we talk about life we don't it's not just always football you know what I'm saying I think when you have that kind of relationship with the guys that you work with it makes it a lot easier when you're on the field because the communication is just so much clearer Mark Daniels hey Darnell good to see you thanks for doing this um take me through the process and where it's going to go from you know learning how Adrian plays to last year really you know revving up the communication between you two and having it pay dividends and maybe taking it to the next uh i guess uh nonverbal uh you know connection that will make you a better tandem um i mean i i personally i already feel like that we've uh cuz it's like it just becomes it just becomes natural and then it it also me and Adrian we're both uh like from around like the same general area over there in like Maryland, that kind of area. So it's like uh, everything that, that we do, it's, it's almost like we, we know what each other's thinking. So, um, and obviously more, like there's never, I don't think there's ever a ceiling on uh, like how clear communication can be because communication can always improve. So, um, you know, we're not relaxing as far as like, okay, we got it. So as long as we keep working on it and working together, then I feel like everything else will work out. 